ESPN. These Cincy fans have vowed to camp out until the Bearcats get their first win of the season prior to their game with ECU in the Cincy locker room. That was the time on offense where we finished what we start. Well, Bearcats couldn't finish what they started here in the first quarter. Chad Plummer picked off in the end zone by Jeff Carr. Plummer in disbelief. More Cincy offensive troubles. Center Doug Rossfeld doesn't notice his quarterback is lined up in the shotgun formation. Hikes it as he's right behind him. Cincy leads the nation in turnovers. Fourth quarter, 24-14 ECU. Bears driving. Plummer picked off by East Carolina's Forrest Foster. Cincinnati, four turnovers. ECU wins 24-20 and perhaps we go to check out their game with Michigan State. First quarter, tied at three. Joe Germain to John Lumpkin. 41-yard touchdown. Ohio State up 10-3. Germain threw for 239 yards. Cooper and the Buckeyes head into the locker room with a 17-9 lead. Third quarter, same score. Michigan State's Bill Burke picked off by Damon Moore, who takes it 70 yards the other way for the TD. Buckeyes up 24-9. Game over, right? Wrong. Next possession for Michigan State. They've got to punt it. And the punt hits an Ohio State player in the back right there. The Spartans recover on their own 49. Nick Saban, yeah, a bit out of focus. Five plays later, Michigan State taking advantage of the break. It's Burke to Laval Richardson. Richardson, it's only catch of the day, 24-yard touchdown. Spartans miss the extra point but cut the lead to 24-15. Now 24-18, Michigan State at its own 27. Burke for Plaxico Burris. Great catch, falling out of bounds at the OSU 35. Spartans with the momentum heading into the fourth quarter. And it's Cedric Irvin from three yards out, just 52 yards on 26 carries. But Irvin still feeling good. Spartans up 25-24. Ohio State ball back. Third down on the Spartan 47. Jermaine said later he should have just thrown it out of bounds. Instead, he fumbles it. Spartans recover inside the Buckeyes 20. Michigan State couldn't convert for the TD though. It's Paul Edinger. Already four field goals on the day and he hits the 42 yarder. Fifth of the game tying his own school record. He's hit nine straight. It's 28-24 MSU. Ohio State one last chance to win it. Jermaine. To David Boston. One of five grabs for him down to the Michigan State 35. Next play. Jermaine shades that Rose Bowl comeback against Arizona State to Lumpkin to the 15. Now first down for the 15. It's Jermaine looking for Boston in the end zone, but Cedric Henry is there to knock it away. After two incompletions, fourth and 10 from the 15, Jermaine looking for D. Miller, but he finds Ronaldo Hill, picks it off. Michigan State holds on. The Buckeyes are bombing Cooper, not pleased. The Spartans pull off the shocker as Nick Saban gets the congratulations, 28 to 24. Turnover's the big story here. Buckeyes had five to just two for the Spartans. Ohio State wasn't just unbeaten. They had won every game by at least 17 points coming in. Now John Cooper's team finds itself in third place in the Big Ten. The coaches outplayed us. Uh, their defense was better than ours. Their offense was better than ours. Their kicking game was better than ours. And of course, they came away with the victory. Uh, it seemed like anything that could happen to us today did happen to us. And like we say in, in coaching and football, it doesn't catch up with you and it catches up with you. That hurt a lot, man, because, I mean, all these guys, we, we put in so much hard work and you know, work so hard year in and year out. And, you know, just just a missing element today that, that we didn't have and we just took a hell. We've had some great wins, but I'm telling you, to beat Ohio State at Ohio State, they're number one ranked in the country. We came in 28-point underdogs. I, I just can't tell you how happy I am for our players who work so hard and believe in themselves to come down here and just keep playing hard and, and make the plays they needed to make to win the game. And it's great for Michigan State University. I mean, I'm just so happy I can't tell you. So the same old story for John Cooper's Buckeyes. This is the fourth time in the last six years that they've won their first eight games, only to see the season derailed by a lower-ranked opponent. Number two, Kansas State capitalized on the Buckeyes' misfortune. They were in Waco to take on Baylor early in the first quarter. KSU already up 7 to nothing. Jermaine Alfred's pass is picked off by Mark Simino. One of two Baylor turnovers. Three plays later, it's Michael Bishop to Aaron Lockett. Seven catches, 157 yards for him. Bishop threw for two TDs and ran for one. K-State up 14-0 just over three minutes into the game, and they roll. Kansas State perhaps poised to become the number one team in the nation for the first time in school history. They take it 49-6. Wildcats 17th straight win. David Allen took a punt back 77 yards for a TD, and this one tying an NCAA record 
with his fourth punt return touchdown of the year. Fourth rank UCLA battling the Beavers of Oregon State. Second quarter, 10-7 UCLA. Cade McNown to Ryan Newfield. One of 14 he tosses for McNown. UCLA up 17-7. They let it 17-10 at the half. Third quarter, tied at 17. Oregon State driving. Jason Dandridge, great game for him. 33 yards here. 16 carries, 130 yards on the game. Beavers up 24-17. UCLA coming back. A little chicanery. McNown to Jermaine Lewis. Back to McNown. All the way down to the four. UCLA would later score to tie it at 24. Oregon State now down 31-24. Late fourth quarter from the three. It's Dandridge. His third TD of the game. That evens the ball game at 31. Bob Toledo, well, a bit concerned. Closing minute still tied. UCLA ball. McNown looking for Danny Farmer. Nice sliding grab, set up a field goal. UCLA up 34-31. McNown threw for 377 yards. After a bad kickoff by UCLA, it's Jonathan Smith to Greg Ainsworth. Smith threw for 323 yards. Four plays later, Jose Cortez for a 28-yard field goal, and he nails it. That ties it at 34. After a bad kickoff, though, by OSU, UCLA, 21 seconds to go from their own 39. McNown... How in the world could he be so open? Brad Melsby, his only catch of the game, a 61-yard TD. UCLA goes ahead. They win it 41-34, to surviving a major scare for the second straight week. Remember that Stanford fumbled while going in for the go-ahead score against... ...taking place in Chestnut Hill, third quarter action. Game tied at 17, third and seven for Notre Dame. Jarius Jackson to Malcolm Johnson, but did he get his foot in? It's ruled a touchdown. Bob Davey and the Irish take a touchdown lead, 24-17. Early fourth quarter, Jackson scrambling around. Finally, finds Johnson behind the defenders. 68 yards down to the 27. Jackson, 10 of 21, 210 yards. Autry Denson, Denson would punch it in to put the Irish up, 31-20. A minute seven left, fourth quarter. Notre Dame with only 10 men on the field. Dedrick DeWalt wide open over the sidelines. Tom O'Brien mad because his team didn't snap it in time. 20 seconds left. Mike Cloud, the second leading rusher in the country, stuck at the goal line. Cloud had 141 yards. So fourth and goal, Cloud gets the call again, and he's stuck. Deke Cooper. Calling it my most important tackle. And the Irish hang on to win it 31-26 to the disbelief of Tom O'Brien and the Eagles. That lady on the dome is smiling at us right now. Those were the words of Irish coach Bob Davey, whose team stays on track for Pasadena. Game losing streak is the school's longest in 20 years. Number nine, Penn State looking for revenge in the big house. First Michigan possession, Tom Brady finding Aaron Shea. 7-0 Michigan, 224 yards passing for Brady. Now 10-0 Michigan, first play of the second quarter. Aaron Harris, Sam Sword spears him. Michigan holding Penn State to just 200 yards offense. Late second quarter. Ty Streets on the receiving end of this second Brady touchdown pass. Four scores in three games, four streets. Penn State never got going offensively. A rough day for Kevin Thompson, just 94 yards passing. Two fumbles. He also... At four interceptions coming into this game, two in this one. Dwayne Patman with the pick there. And Penn State shut out for the first time in 11 years. After the game, linebacker Brandon Short said, it's frustrating to get embarrassed again by a Michigan team on seven in a row after starting 0-2. Florida State and UVA. Virginia 0-8 lifetime in games played in the Sunshine State. Early on, Seminoles looking to make it 0-9. Peter Warwick from Chris Wenke, Warwick, 79 yards for the score, one of six Seminoles with a touchdown catch in this one. Here could be the craziest eight-yard run of the year. Warwick getting spun around, finally picking up some positive yardage. The Seminoles would score four plays later. Second quarter, Wenke dropping back, gets blindsided by Patrick Kearney. Wenke had to leave the game with a concussion. He's uncertain for next week against Wake. UVA coach George Welsh thought he had a good chance to win it in the second half, but the Seminoles turn it on. Aaron Brooks intercepted by Dexter Jackson, his second pick of the game. Four Virginia INTs lead to 28 Seminole points, and Florida State cruises. B, first quarter, 3 nothing falls. Travis Henry up close and personal. And that's Travis going 18 yards for the touchdown. 10 nothing falls, 104 yards on 17 carries for Henry. Late second quarter, 17-3 Tennessee now. Tennessee T. Martin, the year he's having. 
They put Cedric Martin Wilson in rolling out looking for Cedric yes. Wilson. He finds it. Martin would sneak in from one yard out. 24-3 Tennessee at the half. Martin 18-25, 274 yards. Fourth quarter and oh boy, Daniel Dixon loses the ball. Sean Ellis picks it up. He is finally pulled down. Good a coach at the UAB 18. The Vols win it by the final of 37 to 13. Tennessee off to its best start since the 1956 team, which went 10 and 0. They become the first SEC team to win at least eight games in 10 consecutive seasons. They never punted and rolled up 446 yards of total offense. To Nashville for Florida and Vandy. First quarter, 7-0 Gators. Joe Webb to punt, or maybe not. Javon Kears is there for the block. And it's picked up by Mike Peterson. 27 yards for the touchdown, 14-0 Gators. This is nothing new for Steve Spurrier's crew. They are 18-0 in games in which they have blocked a punt. This is a selection of their greatest blocks available from Ronco. Florida scored 28 points in the first 16 minutes in this one, and that was pretty much all she wrote as the Gators cruise to the 45-13 win, rolling up 571 yards of total offense. The Hogs hosting Ole Miss. First quarter, Arkansas with its second play from scrimmage. Clint Sterner finds Anthony Lucas down the sideline. 50 yards for the touchdown. Dave Arkansas passed just six times, had two touchdowns, however. Lucas with four catches in the game, 177 yards. He had both touchdown receptions, and Arkansas. A blowout victory, 34 zip. The Razorbacks record their first shutout since 1991 and set up next week's big showdown in Knoxville with the Volunteers. A win there, and Arkansas is in, as they say, hog heaven. Yeah. Paul Pasqualone going for career win number 100. Syracuse versus West Virginia, the Mountaineer fans. Old school. First quarter, Donovan McNabb had never lost to West Virginia. In his career, he passed for 281 yards, also runs it in for the score there. 7-3 Orangeman. Second quarter, off the Statue of Liberty and justice for all. Heisman candidate Amos Zaraway takes it in. 31 yards. Final ticks of the fourth. Last chance for Syracuse, down 35-28. And McNabb set a Big East career passing mark but couldn't win. Kevin Johnson and he cannot make connections. And the upset victory for the Mountaineers, 35-28 in Morgantown. The Orangemen, 17 score. In Pac-10 play, Washington State at Arizona. The Cougars looking for help any way they can get it. First quarter, Tron Candidate takes the handoff. 75 yards, 174 for the game. This one giving the Wildcats a 10-7 lead. The flag was on Washington State. Five turnovers for Wazoo. And here in the second quarter, Chris McAllister with the pick. And he goes 60 yards the other way. Cats with a 41-7 victory over Washington State. It's the sixth straight loss since a 3-0 start for the Cougars. And it's the first nine-win season since 1993 for ranked Wisconsin, hoping to tell Glenn Mason and Minnesota, au revoir, go fair. Early second quarter, Ron Dane up the middle, 133 yards on the afternoon. Wisconsin up, 10 love. Third quarter, Minnesota quarterback Billy Cockerham intercepted by Jamar Fletcher, one of four picks thrown by Cockerham on the day. Fourth quarter, Wisconsin's Mike Samuel can't find anyone, so he scrambles 10 yards for the touchdown. And with the win, Wisconsin getting the rights to the Paul Bunyan Axe, which goes to the winner of this Big Ten series. Wisconsin goes to 9-0 for the first time since 1901. Ron Dane already the school's all-time leading rusher. A rainy night for the Sooners and the Aggies. Oklahoma struggling first possession. Jake Sills slips and falls on third down, forcing a Sooner punt. On the ensuing punt, Jason Webster Breaks it 55 yards for the touchdown, and the Aggies with the early 7-0 lead. The Sooners could do no right, but leave it to Coach John Blake with the hit of the day. Look at this. Chris Taylor with the nice gain, but Blake, the only way to stop the momentum was to throw the forearm shiver. Out of Missouri from Faroe Field in Columbia, third quarter. Missouri with the ball, and Corby Jones, we start with him. He had 19 rushes, 108 yards on the day. He also passed for 147 yards and a touchdown. I think he's healthy again. Devin West would score six plays later to give the Tigers a 31-14 lead. Same score late in the fourth. 
Devin West, his third touchdown of the day, 146 yards. He sets the school single-season rushing record, 1,401 yards. He also set the single-season touchdown record with 17. After the game, Key Williams in Texas hoping to hook Oklahoma State. The bouts for the Heisman going out November 11th, and those folks don't have a vote, but Ricky Williams certainly a major candidate. He only had 90 yards rushing, but here on the receiving end of this major apple white pass, the freshman with 408 yards passing three TDs. Fourth quarter, Tony Lindsay's pass deflected right in the hands of Ethan Howe, who runs at 55 yards for the score. The extra point would be blocked, game tied at 34. Seven seconds left, Chris Stockton's 30-yard field goal attempt off the upright and in. Texas wins. Nebraska looking to bounce back against Iowa State. First quarter, Dan Alexander rumbles in from nine yards out, one of three touchdowns on the day for Alexander. Nebraska up seven, zip. Third quarter, Eric Crouch fakes the handoff, rolls to his left, in the snow, takes it in, down inside the 10, and that would lead to another Alexander touchdown. Fourth quarter, Monte Cristo. A 16-yard touchdown run diving into the end zone. The 20th victory over the Cyclones for Nebraska in the past 21 years. And after the game, Nebraska quarterback Eric Crouch said something we thought we would never hear, Dave. The Meanwhile, Washington hoping to keep the quack attack in check. First quarter, Achilles Smith looking for, finding Tony Hartley. 30 yards on the scoring strike, 10 nothing Ducks. Fourth quarter, the two hook up again. Smith threw for 442 yards, three TDs. Hartley set a school record with 242 receiving yards, and the Ducks roll 27-22. Oregon has won four of the last five games versus the Huskies, and head coach Mike Bellotti, he's 9-1 lifetime in November. Undefeated Tulane visiting Memphis. Tigers could have used that guy on the field. First quarter, 7-0 Tulane. Sean King keeping it himself. And into the end zone, it's 14-0, Green Wave. Third quarter, they're up 27-10. Tulane on the Memphis 30. King looking for Juwan Dawson, and he hits him. One of four TD tosses for King. Two of them to Dawson, who had 10 catches for 127 yards. The Green Wave now 8-0, 41-31 the final. Memphis scored three TDs in the final quarter to make it respectable. King the story as usual. He completed his first 14 passes. Air Force and Army Falcons looking to wrap up the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Second quarter, Air Force up 14 to 7. Blaine Morgan to Dylan Newman. Morgan 7 of 9 for 167 yards. This one goes for 74 yards. Newman also caught a 54-yard TD in the first quarter as the Falcons roll 35 to 7. They win their 12th Commander-in-Chief's trophy, which is given to the win.